So planes in R3. Well, uh, the general equation for a plane in R3 is A times X plus B times Y plus C times Z is equals D. Where not all the constants A, B, and C are zero. D may be zero, however. So first we consider a plane through the origin. So if you look at the origin, then you would see that a plane through the origin, that if we take x is 0, y is 0, z is 0, then we get 0. So suppose, suppose we have graphically, we have a v, then x belongs to v if and only if ax plus by plus c times z equals d equals zero. Again, like we did for lines, we may use a different description. We may write ax plus by plus c times z as a in a product of two vectors. The vector x, x, y, z times a vector a b c and this should be equal to zero again this is called the normal of the plane v and you see that if you had taken arbitrary vector x in v that uh, due to the fact that the inner product is zero with the vector n so this vector n is pointing outwards yeah, it's perpendicular to any vector in the plane v. So this characterizes the plane. Which vectors do belong to v? Well, these are just the vectors having in a product with n equals to zero. So the second more general case, now look at a plane and uh, let p be a vector pointing at some, some point in the plane. And x an arbitrary vector in the plane. Then we can look at the difference vector x minus p yeah so we have again the plane ax plus b y plus c z equals d so first ob observe that since we we've chosen p in v then the inner product of n with p should equal d And also x belongs to v, which, in, which means that the inner product of n with x equals d. So the inner product of n with x minus p equals 0. So the inner product of x with n equals the inner product of n with p. Well, again, this equation is, is called the point-normal equation for V.